Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Well today I can, well I'm sure you can see, I've laid down a very thin, well yesterday I actually did it, not today. Uh, yesterday I set down a very thin layer of um, white mica ivory mica powder on my teacup uh, tray and coasters. I've let that cure up overnight and now I'm going to uh, put some flowers on and then I'm going to put a final clear coat on top of that. So let's, let me just open the glue and we'll start by setting the flowers down. I thought it would be nice to use um, blues, aqua, turquoise and um, a bit of greenery for leaves to give it a bit of, a bit of added depth as well. Um, so I've just got a few, a few different turquoise and aquas out already. That one's stuck for some reason. There we go. There we go. So, let's start with a bit of, a bit of greenery to start with. Open this one as well. Checking if I've got enough of the same greenery to do my um, coaster moulds as well. So I'm just going to snip off a little bit of this one. Just for that mould there. I'm just going to trim that one down a little bit. Sorry, I'm, ta I'm just talking to myself at the moment. But hopefully I'm not mumbling while I'm doing it. I think that's a habit that I'm starting to break now, hopefully. I've got my fingers crossed that I am anyway. Um, let's have this little bit of greenery as well. There's two there, there are. Right, so I think we'll start with that bit of greenery. I'm tempted actually to snip that back to there, have that lower, give it the added depth and then I can use this one in one of my coaster moulds because that's hardly got any of the greenery so that will, that will even it out a little bit anyway. Um, so let me start by sticking these down. I won't leave the video running the whole time, I'll just let you see where I'm up to and then what I'll do is pause it and as I usually do when I'm doing these keep coming back to you to show you where I'm up to. I don't think it'll take very long to be fair to um, to get the flowers down on the, the moulds because they're not huge moulds, they're not like the extra large tray mould that I like to use. I want to try and put a little bit down the handle as well but I'm not sure what I'll get down the handle yet but I do would like to get something into the handle even if it's only the handle on the um, actual tray I would like, and I think the handle on the um, the coaster moulds might be too small to put anything in, but I think the handle on the tray I might manage to get something into there. So I'll give it a try. Okay. 
Okay, so let's start with some flowers. Actually, I'm going to... I'm trying to divide them while I'm doing it at the same time so that I've got... I want the flower, I want the coasters to look like they're a set. So I'm wanting the flowers to be um, divided out so that they are even. So I've got, for example, now I've got four of those flowers on the coaster, so I'm happy with that. Um, so I can use the rest of them on the tray now. Like I say, I do want them to look like a set. Just wondering if I can put a little bit of this into the handle. I think I probably can. Cut a few bits off. It's all right. Now I am. I know I'm mumbling to myself. Now I'm catching myself doing it. Just snipping a few bits off so I can put this in the handle. Whoops. Drops that one. It's a nice size for the handle this, just by snipping it off, gives me a good size. I have no idea what the flowers are but they are very pretty. I wish I knew more of the names of the flowers, my mum's absolutely fantastic with gardening and flowers and everything and I'm sure she could tell me what all of the flowers are called but um, I'm afraid I'm not that good. I like using the flowers. I also like growing my own flowers, although most of them, to be fair, are weeds. Uh, but you know what they say, one man's weed is another man's flower. And um, I do like to dry and press them myself as well. Don't get me wrong, I do use bought ones. And uh, the ones that I'm using today are mostly bought ones, um, if not all bought. I don't know what I'll, how I'll finish up. Um, but um, I do enjoy drying and pressing my own as well. I wasn't sure I would be able to get anything in the handle but I'm really happy with that. What I'll do is the same as usual, glue the flowers down and then leave them for an hour to for the glue to set up and then come back and put my final layer of resin down. Now, I said I wasn't going to leave the video running but what do you want me to do? 
Do you want me to pause it for a while? Do you want to break or would you rather me leave it running? I wish you could tell me. I'm going to pause it for a few minutes just so that you're not getting bored watching me sticking the flowers down um, and I'll come back in a few minutes and show you where I'm up to. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay so I think I've got enough flowers on for the teapot now so I'm going to leave that to, for the glue to dry. Um, I could just like I said I could carry on fiddling with it because as I keep telling you I'm a fiddler but I'm going to leave it. I'm not sure whether to put, I could put um, some sort of decal on there or I could just leave that part blank. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm happy with the handle. I'm glad I've got some little flowers in into the handle there um, and I'm happy with that. So as I say I'll leave that to dry up for an hour and then I'll put the final coat onto there. So I'll just pop that out of the way and then I can turn my attention to the coasters. Now as I've been going with the tray I've been picking out flowers for the coasters as well. Um, so just let me open this one. As I said, I want them to be a matching set, so I'm wanting the flowers to um, to match on each of them, really. I'm just trying to get the, the little film out that comes on top of the flowers. It's coming, but slowly. There we go. Right, okay, so let me just make sure I've got all the same... two of those. That one's only a very small one so I think I'll swap that one with that. Now I want one of these. And another one of these. I'm not sure how I'm going to stick them yet. Um, but I'm going to start sticking, sorry that was just me moving my chair, um, I'm going to start sticking them down and then I can work, work from there. So again I've got a little bit of greenery, oops. jumping all over the place this piece going to stick with roughly the pattern that I've already set down for the blue for the flowers and then I can just fill in any extra little gaps that I need to. I don't think I'll be able to get anything in the handles on this one I think the handles are just too small could maybe try and put some glitter into the handles but I'm not sure if it would spread too much into the rest of the 
um, into the rest of the coaster and spoil it. Okay, so again, I'm going to pause it here for a few minutes and I'll come back and show you where I'm up to uh, once I've set a few more flowers down. It just saves you getting bored while I'm just putting the flowers down and gluing them in place. So I'll pause it here and I'll be back in a few minutes. I just thought I'd bring you back and show you where I'm up to with the teacups. I've put, stood the flowers down into the teacups. I've managed to get some tiny little petals into the um, handle. I'm not sure if they're going to float away because it's very difficult to get glue on them and get them to stick down there or if they will stick. I think that those are called Queen Anne's Lace but I'm not sure. I could well be and I probably am wrong about that. Um, but as I say, I think they're called Queen Anne's Lace but I have managed to stick some tiny little petals down there. So I'll give them an hour now to cure up for the glue to dry and uh, then I'll be back to put the final coat of resin on which I will bring you back for um, and then it's just a case of leaving them to cure up until tomorrow so I will say bye for now and I'll be back in an hour see you soon okay so I'm just bringing you back to show you and putting the uh, final top coat onto the uh, coasters first of all to make some more resin I'm not sure I think I need to mix a tad, tad more resin. So I'll just go and do that. I'll be back in a minute when I mix up more resin. So I'm back with the rest of my resin that I've just mixed up and I'm just going to carry on pouring into the coasters. I'm just 
surprised how short I actually guesstimated it. I'm usually quite good at guesstimating, but um, I did very much underestimate that. Let's do the handles. seems to be it. Let's just see if we can wipe off a bit of this what's going to become overspill. much easier to deal with overspill now than it is a little further down the line. So let's just deal with that. And then I'll put these to one side and I'll do the little tray. Start off by pouring the last little bit of resin that I've got from the um, from the coasters that I've just used, and then I'll make some more up for the tray. Just concentrating on the handle, but I know by the time I, c I come back, it'll all spread out anyway. Just make some resin up for this. I won't record. I won't record actually putting the resin on the tray. I'll just pop the resin onto the tray. You've seen me do the coasters. There's no point watching the the tray as well. Um, so I'll put the resin on the tray, and then I will be back tomorrow um, with the tea mold. So I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi and welcome back. I'm going to um, demold these teacups, um, the coasters and the tray that I made yesterday. Um, so let's get on and demold them and see how they've turned out. I'll take them all out of the moulds and then I can move the, move the tray out of the way for a start. Let me get some black card. one side. That's very pretty. Just got a tiny little bit of overpour. I'm happy, really happy that I managed to get some um, flowers into the handle because I think that just sets it off nicely. I'm really happy with that. this little bit of overpod just that's just literally just picking off just leaving bits on my card in the process though yeah I'm really happy with those over the moon I am over the moon with these I'm glad I went for the colours that I chose as well. Um, sometimes I think it's nice to have like a rainbow of colours, but sometimes I think it's nice to have um, just one or two colours um, just for a change. So yeah, I really like do like these. 
Okay, they're great. As I say, I like, really like the um, the way that I managed to get the little tiny flowers into the handles. I hope you can see that. I hope the camera's picking it up properly for you. I'm just going to pop the coasters to one side and then I can demold the tray. where I moved the tray after I'd poured the um, the last layer of resin so it just it just spilled a little bit of it. Now I've got some bumps there for some reason and I'm not sure why. I have to put another top coat on there. In fact I'm going to hold off putting, uh, I'm going to hold off demoulding this actually until I've put another top coat on simply because I find it much easier to top coat whilst um, the um, the mould is still in place so I'll hold off I don't know what's happened there not sure why that is but I'll give it a quick sand and then I'll put another top coat on and I'll be back to demold that I'll do that today um, and hopefully I can have it demolded by the end of the day um, so that's it for now. I will be back very shortly. See you soon. Bye for now. Hi, welcome back. I'm just going to do this unmoulding of the teacup. This is from a couple of days ago, but I had to put an extra um, layer on because the, the final coat that I put on, it was rippled. It wasn't quite flat, so I decided to put an extra layer on. Um, I've got a little bit of overspill on the inside of the handle, but I can deal with that without any problems. But that's much better, that. I'm really pleased with that now. Um, can I grab the coasters where? Let me just see if I can see the coasters easily. Here's, here's the coasters. So there are the coasters that go with that. But I will take some still shots anyway and I'll add them onto the video um, all together so that you can see. But I am really happy with those. I think I'm going to add a bit of a decal to that little bit just there. Um, but um, I'll decide for definite once I do the um, the overspill on the handle there. But um, yeah, I love these. And as I've said before, I'm really pleased that I managed to get some little tiny flowers in the handles there on both the tea put on the, both the teacup and the um, the large teacup sorry and the small teacup um, coasters um, I'm glad I managed to get some flowers in those I'm really happy with them um, so yes yeah, so I'll take some stills and I'll be back with those um, at the end of the video and I will be back with another experiment shortly so I'll see you soon bye for now <laughs> 